here to tell you about what the atomic bomb can tell us about tissue turnover. So basically what happened was that during the Cold War, a lot of nuclear tests were done. And this meant that the carbon-14 in the atmosphere uh, was increased dramatically. So we have a nuclear bomb here. There were a lot of them. And this is the carbon-14 rising. Then at some point they agreed to stop doing these tests. So after this, it's been decreasing again. And at this time, we're down to pre-bomb levels. What is interesting about this is that the carbon-14 in the atmosphere is actually taken up by plants. And because we humans eat plants and we eat the animals who've eaten the plants, this carbon-14 is uh, integrated into our body. So let's say that I was born in 1974, which I am. Then if my tissue had been formed at this time point, and if it remains like that, if it's not turned over, then it will still have this carbon-14 level that was in the atmosphere at the time when I was born. So what we've done is we've looked at tendons and we've looked at how much carbon-14 is in them compared to what's in the atmosphere. And what we can see is that they actually have a very high level. So they are actually keeping the level uh, of carbon that was in the atmosphere from when we were quite young. So basically we can see that our tendons are made until we're around 17 years old. And then after that, not very much happens. Thank you.